Well, I had an absolutely amazing time with Marshmallow here. Thank you so much for uh, loving my snakes. So that's Mitchy. I mean, look at how big he's gotten. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. We are going on an adventure today. And that adventure starts here at Critchlow's Alligator Sanctuary in Athens, Michigan. Each year, he actually has all the alligators outside, and we have to bring them inside for hibernation. And then in the spring, they go from outside back to inside. So we're gonna have a great time moving some alligators today. So of course, we have Jessica, Andrea, and Bruce with us. You guys excited about snatching up some alligators? Nice. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know what we're gonna do. Sometimes I come here, and they literally like let me in the water and grab alligators. Other times, I'm just helping out. Regardless, it's gonna be an amazing time. And again, I think it's really weird that there's actually an alligator sanctuary in Michigan. It's, this place is awesome. Check this place out. How cool is this? Hey, there he is, Brian. Hey, hey there's the man, I, I the legend. Yeah, what's going on, brother? Hey, How we are have you? A, some agenda all set up for you. Oh, God. Welcome How back. It's so good to see you. Man. I'm always so happy when I'm here because uh, it's just cool to see all these alligators. So, basically, what uh, David has here is he has like small ones, he has mid sized ones. I call them kindergarten, grade school, high school, all the way up, whatever it is. So, Godzilla is the biggest alligator here. So, we're going to go check out the new enclosure that he just built. Look at all these crazy like shifts. Now, we used to have to actually snatch up a lot of the big ones, but now they shift them quite a bit, but these things are cool. This is all brand new. This is great. This is for have so much trouble with our teenagers. Uh -huh. Once puberty kicks in, it's chaos all the time as far as social hierarchy, right. animals not getting along with each other. And we have several animals that are in our middle school exhibit that need to get promoted. They're getting too big for their exhibit. Yeah. I can't put them in because they have dominant animals in the high school. Uh, they yeah. won't let them in there. Yeah. So we're gonna pull them and work with them for a couple of years get them to settle down, and then I can put new animals into an exhibit. That's awesome. So they're, they're kind of, this is their naughty spot for a couple <laughs> years. So. I think what they specialize here more than anything is not only obviously rescuing alligators from all over the country, but also the fact that they're unbelievable with the behavior. I mean, these guys are amazing with the behavior of, of all crocodilians and alligators in particular. And it's really cool because it's a family run business. So it's, uh, it's just awesome. You can see this guy's still in here. Oh my God, they're so awesome. Gonna get the bird's eye view of the place. Oh my God, look at how cool this is. Oh my God. <laughs> I tell you guys, I don't know. There's Maybe there's something wrong with me. I just get so giddy and just so excited when I see stuff like this. I mean, I love it. I want a backyard like this. Look at all of these alligator enclosures. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and again, something you just wouldn't think to see in Michigan, but uh, we're gonna go inside and see Godzilla, the big dog's enclosure here. Oh my God, this is awesome. So this is where they come during the, the winter months. You've got the heaters, you've got big ponds in here. And uh, what temperature, David, do you guys keep these? In? Uh, the container is about 60 to, well, probably 65 to 68. But this is a brand new setup. Like I was telling yeah. your folks here, uh, we have a deck on top that you were yeah, just yeah. on. Yeah. We're hoping that insulates this building oh, a yeah. little bit more. Sure. So I don't have to have five heaters running. Maybe right. I can have two heaters and I'll end up with 65 degrees. But we're having to test the water. It's about 65, 68 degrees now. Oh, that's nice. It's comfortable. Yeah, it's And that's all I wanted. Yeah. So I mentioned earlier that I had RJ and I had two other gators and they, they ended up here. Well, of course, Mitchy was one that had kind of a big divot out of his tail. So we know exactly what Mitchy is. I haven't seen Mitch in probably a year and a half or so. So we are on the way to go get reunited with Mitch and bring him in for hibernation. I am so excited to see him. What's up, my man? It's been a while, buddy. How you been? Oh my gosh, you look so good, buddy. He's gotten so big. Yep, you're perfect. Yep. I just throw the tape about five rounds or five times around. Make sure right, you cover those nice. You're right. Mitchie! Look at you. Alright, then you guys pick him up. We're gonna head that way. Mitchie! Oh my gosh. So that's Mitchie. I mean, look at how big he's gotten. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy he's had such a good life here. Oh, it's so good to be reunited with him. I'm a buddy. Yeah. 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 
Now you get to carry the alligator you caught. Reunited with my buddy Wild Charles here. Awesome. <laughs> We're going to catch some alligators, guys. Can you believe this? <laughs> so our job right now is to crowd all of these little gators over there, and then they're going to start catching up. You ready for this? I'm ready. You Let's ready? Do Let's do it. Oh, okay. I'll get one. You get one. Make sure that you are drying and shaking. Taper. <laughs> This is the coast. Okay, so little buddy over here. Yeah. Oh, I got a turtle! Just don't let it bite, Sean. <laughs> Get in here. That's right. Now we'll just hold on for a minute. Okay. This is this is too much fun. Good? Good job, Bruce. Right, we're gonna hold up our session for a second. Good, it's fun, yeah. That's awesome. And this is where they end up during the winter time. They actually, you can see these guys have 68 degrees right in here. So they're cool enough to kind of cool down and kind of go dormant, but not so cold that they're going to get sick or anything like that. And I think this is an absolutely cool thing. You can see some of the ones that we just caught up are down in here now. These guys over here. So uh, now we're moving on to slightly bigger ones. What's cool here is that, again, all these people come out for this event and they get to actually carry the alligators after they're taped up and stuff like that off to the hibernation. So it's kind of like a whole big group thing, you know, we catch them up, tape them up, and then they get a chance to carry them over. How freaking awesome is that? Oh my God. This event should be so much more busy because it's so awesome. There should be a thousand people here because it is so freaking cool. Is anybody not carrying an alligator down there that wants to? Able body. Have scoot up That's awesome. Mr. C, elementary, right? Okay. I mean, it works first. Yeah. <laughs> I love the best part about trying to find these gators is just kind of walking around, just kind of, you know, feeling around. I can definitely feel them. And if uh, I feel them, I know they're there, but uh, it's absolutely awesome. Charles over there, he's got one right over here. <laughs> it's cool enough out here, probably in the mid 40s or so, that they're not moving around a lot. So if I just kind of move around, I should be able to find them. But we're definitely getting down to the last couple, maybe alligators in here. But uh, <laughs> would you guys, let me know down in the comments if you guys would be uh, up to your knees almost in water that you can't see trying to find an alligator. I mean, I think it's absolutely a great way to spend the day. Oh, you're happy. Okay. Next up we got the little bit bigger ones here. These are like the high school ones. It's not a huge one, but it's still pretty good. So we're gonna actually carry this over uh, to get into the hibernation area. So oh, I kind of love these guys. Hands underneath them. Alright. Look with your legs out the back. I'm kind of three. One, two, three, up. Got coming out. Just like you love them. <laughs> and what basically is happening is she's putting the rope underneath the tape here. So that way when you put the alligator in, you can actually pull the rope and it pulls the tape off. It's just a lot better for the alligator, of course, for the person. Don't want right, to get so any kind of issues. So it's pretty much no drama that way. So just head along that way. Um, and we'll go right watch in there. The and watch your, yep, watch your step here. Once again, we had an absolutely amazing time. Thank you for all your oh, hospitality. Oh, it's our, our pleasure, Brian. It's great. Love These guys are great. Here. Yeah, definitely. Glad we can share this with everybody. It, it is unbelievable. And speaking of sharing, down in the description, I'm going to put a link to all his stuff. Please pay him a visit if you're in Athens, Michigan, or anywhere. And also, if you want to contribute to anything, places like this need our help, and they are doing God's work. So thank you, thank you man. Much. All right, we'll see you soon, right? All right, be Take careful. Take care. Bye. So we are off to the Reptarium. What did you guys think? Was it worth it? Was yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> I tell you what, it's cold out here. I'm a little wet. I'm definitely stinky from uh, being in with the gator ponds, but uh, it was absolutely worth it. But hey, let's go ahead and head to our personal oasis, the Reptarium. Remember about a month ago, I traveled out to LA. I said, hey, I am going to be clapping with someone really cool. And I kind of gave you a little bit of a sneak. As you guys knew, I flew all the way to LA because I was pretty excited about a project, but I can't really tell you much about it right now. 
It happened to be the DJ Marshmallow. Well, today that video drops on Marshmallow's channel. It's called Cooking with Mellow, and we cooked some tofu with a bunch of reptiles. It was absolutely cool. I'm gonna show you just a little bit of the behind the scenes on that, and I'm gonna link in the description to that video if you wanna check it out. I think it goes live at noon today, so uh, definitely check it out. We had a great time. All right, cool. Well, I had an absolutely amazing time with Marshmallow here. Thank you so much for uh, loving my snakes. I will put a link in the description. You can see what we did uh, cooking some tofu, right? And again, it's just about reaching a ton of people. He has 20 million subscribers on his channel, and we had a great time together. So go ahead and check out the behind the scenes, and then back to the reptarium. Hey, What's up, man? hey guys, how you doing? Hi, hi everybody. Oh, what's your favorite thing here? Um, my favorite thing here is probably gonna be um, um, sunrise um, for one of the big snakes that I can hold, and then one of the smaller guys is gonna be one of the python. The few that I like the most are the ones that um, when you pet their back, they actually like go up like a cat, kind of. Yeah, like they a hit the heart. Yeah. yeah. All right, just wrapped up at the Reptarium. What an absolutely amazing day. And we got to mess with a bunch of alligators. That was so much fun. Legitimately, every weekend we will have some special events. As a matter of fact, next weekend we have Saturday, we have a costume party, and then Sunday is the Irwin family kind of premiere or whatever. Absolutely gonna be amazing. With that being said, I am gonna go ahead and end the vlog here and wish you guys an amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching. Your guys' support, watching and liking and commenting mean the world to me. Thank you so much. Can you do me a couple favors? as we're talking about it. Can you hit that like button? Make a comment down below. Turn the post notifications on. Be kind to someone today, people. And I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.